be admitted as 53 composite A through D. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would ask for permission to publish. You may publish. And I'm officially starting with disc A. <coughs> Ma'am, I'm going to pause the video a second. Um, on the video, there's a timestamp that says 5 8 2022 Saturday, 9-59-07 a.m. On the video, there is a series of people seated at the end of that table closest in the picture. Um, there is an individual wearing sort of a peach or orange colored top. Who is that? That would be me. There is a person seated directly next to you wearing a sort of greenish colored shirt. Who is that? Uh, Matt. There is, a there is a person seated next to who you've described as Matt wearing a blue shirt. Who is that? My husband, Sean. There is two other people at that table. There is a, a person in a red shirt. Who is that? That would be Kay. And then there is one other person seated next to her in a dark or black colored shirt. Do you know who that is? Tara. And across the table from them is a gentleman in a white hat who at the moment appears to be smoking. Who is that? I believe it's her husband. That's Tara's husband? Yes. Okay. So you're in peach, Matt is in green, your husband Sean is in blue, Kay's in red, and Tara's in black. Is that correct? Correct. Now, I paused it for a second, but it appears that Mr. Terry had something up to his face. He has both of his hands up to his face. Do you know what he's doing in that moment? No, I do not. Do you know if he's drinking? Do you remember if he's drinking? Yes, I know he was drinking that night. Okay. He was drinking during this time? Yes. And for a split second there, right at about 9.59.23, Kay Baker slapped or patted a gentleman seated against the wall there uh, with a hat turned backwards. Do you know who that is? Yes, that is Nick, her neighbor, who also works at the landing. Ms. Baker has now left the patio area and has gone inside. Is this the time that she's going to the restroom? Yes. And almost immediately the defendant appeared to look at her and then follow her into the restaurant. Is that him going in? Yes. She, she can answer yes or no, so a rule as to Was that the defendant who got up and followed Ms. Baker in? Yes. All right, I'm going to switch videos then for a second. I'm going to move to disc B. At roughly 10.01 a.m., as, as according to the timestamp on the video, you're walking away from the table now. Do you remember where you're going? I'm going to the restroom. And then is Mr. Terry and Ms. Baker already still inside, having gone inside? Yes. All right, I'm going to change off of this for a moment. I'm going to move to what is marked as disc C. Now, having been to the landing, can you tell what we're looking at here from this camera angle? Yes. And what are we looking at? 
um, the angle where the bathrooms are here, and then you walk around, and then there's the bar, and then you keep going this way, and then that's the exit to the patio. All right, and so I know you, you, you pointed, but for purposes of the record, there's like some markings on the video, like a, a time and a date and a place where it says side dining. Can you use those, those as reference points to describe where the bathroom is? Uh, yes, the bathroom is... I, I, do you want me to point? <laughs> you can either point or describe it. In okay, words. so it's by this where the word says side dining. So basically, in the camera angle, it's the bottom right corner. Yes. And the door that would then lead in and out from the patio area. Where is that in the video? Uh, the the top right corner. All right. So top right corner is where you come in and out of the the patio. Correct. Now there's a person walking past the bar and now turning in a red shirt. Do you see that person? Yes. Is this Miss Baker going to the restroom? Yes, it is. There's now another person coming, walking past the bar, turning and heading towards the bathroom. Is that the defendant? Yes, it is. I'm going to let it play for a minute or two. All right, I'm stopping it at 10.01.18. There is a person coming out of the bathroom in that area where it says side dining in a red t-shirt. Who is that? That is Kay. And now at 10.01.20, there's a person coming walking along the bar from that top right corner in an orange or peach colored top. Who is that? That is me. Now, before I play the video, I want to ask you a question about that night. Somewhere during the course of the evening, did the defendant ever accuse his girlfriend of sort of dancing with some other person? Yes, he did. Did you physically hear the defendant make that accusation? Yes, I did. The portion of the video we're about to watch, is that the only portion that in any way relates to any sort of accusation of dancing with another man? Yes, it does. And I know it's a little hard to see, but trailing behind you on the video, there's a guy coming in sort of a white shirt, like a white baseball jersey. You've, got, you've watched this video, right? Yes, I have. Do you know who that is? No, I do not. Is that any person that you've ever met? No. Is that any person that was there with you at the landing that night? No. Is that any person that you saw interacting with Kay Baker other than where we're, at whatever we're about to see in the next few seconds of this video? No. This is somebody unknown to both you and your friend, Ms. Baker? Correct. Ten oh one thirty. You burned about ten seconds. Can you describe what is happening in that moment between you and Miss Baker? Uh, we were we are hugging after we did a little dance. Um, just excited for the evening out, and um, before that, a gentleman had walked by, and Kay turned for half a second and put her hands up. Okay. Did standing there? Did you think Kay was dancing with that guy? No, not at all. Did, did that man, like, come up and dance any more with Kay than we see on that video? No, he just passed by. Relevance to anything that we think about we saw, the jury can certainly make their determination from the video. I'll ask it a different way, Frank. Ma'am, is there anything about this video to suggest that it's somehow been altered, that there's some extended period of dancing that we're not seeing? No. I'm going to back up one second to right in the middle of that.
Right at 10.01.24, there's a person coming out of the bathroom at the bottom right-hand corner in a green shirt. Do you see that person? Yes, I do. Who's that? That is Matthew Terry. Right, so I'll play the video again from that second. Right there at 10.01.33 or 32, did you see a person looking back at both you and Ms. Baker? No, I did not at the time. I do now in the video, though. But do you recognize who that person is in the video? Yes, I do. Who is that? That is Matthew Terry. All right, and I'll play this for a few minutes. Ma'am, you and Ms. Baker appear to be talking. Do you remember having a conversation with Ms. Baker during this time? Yes, I do. Was she expressing any desire to dance with some other man or date some other guy or break up with Mr. Terry or anything like that? No. There's a gentleman at about 10.02.50 that came out of the bathroom wearing a jersey that's labeled Pedroia. Is that the same gentleman that danced past you earlier? Um, from the video I've seen now, I believe so, but I don't remember at the time because I wasn't paying attention. Now at about 10.03.25, is that you going to the restroom? Yes, it is. And where is Miss Baker walking towards? She's walking towards the patio. All right. So I'm going to swap back to disc B. <clears throat> and I'm going to jump forward just a little bit here. It's 10.01.20. You have left already and gone inside. Is that correct? Correct. Ten oh one forty two. There's a person coming out from a door and heading towards the table. Do you recognize that person? Yes, I do. Who is that? Matthew Terry. Ten o two o five. There are two gentlemen standing at the bar area. Is that your husband and Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. There's a gentleman who's just walked up back from the table and is going to the door, looking in for a split second, and then turning back around. Is that Mr. Terry? Yes, it is.
Ma'am, since we originally saw the video, there's a person at the end of the table, at the end of the table across from your husband. Do you know who that person is? I believe that's Tara's son. All right. And also around this time, 10.03.35, somebody has come out from inside of the business and is walking towards the camera's uh, direction and is wearing a red shirt. Who's that? Kay Baker. Someone stuck their leg out and then Ms. Baker stopped and turned to that person. Is that Nicholas Calicochi? Yes, it is. Ma'am, 10.04.43, there's a gentleman seated at the table. He's got his arms crossed across his chest. Is that the defendant? Yes, it is. Ten oh five forty five. There's someone coming out in a peach or orange colored top. Is that you? Yes, it is. Now, before you sit down, I want to ask you, what do you remember happening at this moment when you get back to the table in regards to the defendant? When I sat down, um, Matt immediately asked me who was Kay dancing with. And did you have any idea in that moment what he was talking about? No, I mean, I, I knew that there was a gentleman that passed us, um, but explained that she wasn't dancing with him, that it was just a mere passing. And so did you specifically tell the defendant that Kay Baker was not dancing with the other guy? Correct. And how did the defendant react or respond to that? Um, he was very insistent that she did, and that um, I remember him saying something very strange along the lines of, I want to protect my queen and my kingdom. I was telling him he was being jealous and just to stop. And when you told him that he was being jealous, did he let it go? How did he react? Um, after explaining to him over and over again what had really happened, um, he was pretty insistent for a while, and then he seemed to let it go at the moment. Okay, so you, you describe it in a couple short sentences. He asked you who she was dancing with. You say she wasn't. You tell him he's, you say something about him protecting his queen and his kingdom, and you tell him to stop being jealous. But is this more of a back and forth? Um, for the most part, I am getting defensive of Kay as my friend and accusing him of being jealous, and he just wants to know who she's dancing with, yes. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of the video now. Ten oh six oh eight into 09, Mr. Terry's leaning forward, and now you turn your attention to him. And then at ten oh six fifteen, you turn your head. Tell us what's happening. Uh, that was the point where he asked me who was Kay dancing with. And right about ten oh six twenty one, you sort of pump your fist for a second. What are you doing in that moment? 
Uh, showing him what Kay was doing at the time, a little dance with me, and then quickly turn for half a second to the gentleman that passed by. All right, and so is this the time that you're talking about where he's telling you that he thinks Kay's danced with another guy and you're telling him, no, she didn't? Correct. Ten oh nine oh seven. Mr. Terry just pushed in a chair and he's grabbing something off the table. Do you remember there coming a moment where he left the table temporarily? Yes, I do. And is he gone for a few minutes and at some point later both he and Miss Baker come back? Yes. Is that Miss Baker with her arm around Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. Did he just bring her a drink? Yes. Ten ten twenty four. Is that Miss Baker again with her arm around Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. Is that now her rubbing his back and his shoulders? Yes.
Is that Mr. Terry at 10 11 11 whispering into the ear of Kay Baker? Yes, it is. Ten eleven thirty five. Miss Baker and Mr. Terry have stopped talking face to face. They're not coming back to the table. Do you remember this moment when they come back to the table? Yes, I do. Tell us what happened. Um, Kay came up to me and asked me what was Matt talking about, and when he returned, he said, "Just own up to it." Mr. Terry said, "Just own up to it." Yes. Who did that comment appear directed at? Kay. So he was telling Kay Baker to just own up to it. And what ensued following just own up to it? Can you what, repeat what, that question? How did the conversation unfold from there? Um, she basically said, how can I own up to something that didn't happen? And at that point, did you realize that Mr. Terry was still accusing Kay Baker of dancing with someone else? Yes, I did. Did you attempt to again explain to Mr. Terry that Kay Baker was not dancing with another man? Correct. Is that what we're about to see? Yes. All right, ma'am, at 10, 12, 06, you do this motion with your hands where you sort of cross them. What do you remember talking about in this moment? Uh, basically that I was explaining that the man had just passed by us at that time. All right, so you're still talking at this point about the accusation. Correct. Ten, twelve, thirty-six. You're again doing this sort of fist pumping motion. What's happening then? Um, I'm just explaining how when we got together, we were doing a little dance, and that he came by and did it along with us as he passed by. I don't believe he even stopped. All right. So these seconds continue to unfold. This is all still that same conversation about the accusation. Correct. And how would you describe Mr. Terry's demeanor? during the course of this conversation? Uh, he was very frustrated and insistent that it did, that it did happen. Ten thirteen forty seven. You and Miss Baker appear to be talking. Are you still talking about this argument or discussion about this accusation? Yes, we were.
Ten fourteen oh eight. Miss Baker appeared to put her hands up and walk away. Was that kind of the end of the conversation for the moment? For the moment, yes. All right. And so for the rest of the evening, does the accusation, at least as far as at the landing, does the accusation of dancing with another man come up again? Not at that time. All right. So I'm going to jump to the final disc. Disc D. All right, it's now uh, 11.37.28 a.m. according to the timestamp. Um, are you, your husband, Miss Baker, and the defendant the only people left at the landing still? Yes. There's a variety of stuff on the table. Is that like, it looks like maybe a pizza carton or whatever? Is that like food that you all have already eaten? Yes. So I'm going to jump ahead. All right, it's now 11.37.58 a.m. on the timestamp on the video. Is that Ms. Baker grabbing her purse? Yes, it is. Is that, she seems to be talking to someone. Is she talking to Nicholas Calicochi? I believe she's saying goodbye. You appear to be on your phone. Do you remember what you were doing around this time? I was ordering an Uber home. Is 11.39.0 one or O2. Is that Mr. Terry still raising a drink to his mouth? Yes. Eleven thirty nine thirty nine. Is this Miss Baker and Mr. Terry leaving the landing? Yes. At this moment, when they're leaving, has the conversation about the accusation faded from memory and no longer a concern, or is there like still an argument about it going on at this time? No, it seemed to be dropped. Okay. Eleven thirty nine forty six. Um, just beneath the TV, you can see a pair of headlights, right about here-ish, if you can see my cursor. Do you know whose car that is? No, I do not. Once Mr. Baker and Mr. Terry leave the landing, do they ever come back? No. Do you and your husband remain there for a while waiting for your Uber to come pick you up? Yes, we do. Right, I'm going to pause the video a second. At some point, while you were sitting at the landing, 
waiting for your Uber to come pick you up. Did you receive a phone call? Yes, I did. Who called you? Kay did. And do you remember about what time that is? Um, I just know it was 1140 <laughs> something. I can't remember exactly. Okay. So it's somewhere still within like 10 minutes of this moment on video we're watching. Correct. And Ms. Baker calls you and can you tell where they are from the sounds in the background? It sounds like they're in the car. So they're in the car and what is Ms. Baker calling you about? Uh, she's calling me because Matt is accusing her again of dancing with that guy. And can you tell if Mr. Terry is anywhere in the vicinity of this phone call as it's being made? Yes, I believe as I'm, I was on speaker because he could hear me. I was telling him to stop. You are being, you're just being jealous. You need to just drop it. All right. And so this phone call is somewhere post 1140. Um, do you believe you're still at the landing when this phone call happens? I do now that I see the video. All right. Well, I'm going to jump ahead to about 1148. I'm going to start at 1148.18. On the table, there is a bright light. Is that your phone? Yes, it is. And it appears to be lit up at the moment. It went dark. When your phone rings, does the screen light up? Yes, it does. And if a phone ends or a phone call ends, does the screen turn off? Usually, yes. All right. At 11.48.42, your screen lit up again. And now you look at your wrist, and your wrist appears to light up. What is that? My Apple Watch. It's does connected to Does your Apple Watch phone. notify you when you're getting a phone call? Yes, it does. Is this you picking up the phone and putting it to your ear to have a phone call? Yes, it is. Is this you having the phone call with Kay Baker where she tells you that Matthew Terry is still accusing her of dancing with another man? Yes, it is. And that phone call appears to have started at the tail end of 114951, is that you ending the phone call and putting the phone back down? Yes. Would it be fair to say that that phone call, to the best of your recollection, lasted about a minute? Yes. And during that minute, are you positive, are you 100% certain that you recall Kay Baker calling you because Matthew Terry was still accusing her of dancing with another man? Yes, I am. And do you recall having to again tell the defendant he was being jealous and to stop it? Yes. And do you recall hearing him acknowledge you when you told him he was being jealous and to stop it. Yes. Somewhere shortly after this phone call, did you receive a text message from Ms. Baker? I did. And do you remember what that text message was about generally? Yes, I do. Okay. Your Honor, if I can approach. You may. This is States 54. I should mark these. A and B. Ma'am, did you have a chance to look at these before court? I did. Do you recognize those? Yes, I do. As to 54A and B, do they fairly and accurately depict both the call log from your phone as well as the text message you received from Kay Baker? Yes. Your Honor, I move into evidence states exhibit number 54A and B. Any objection? No objection. Admitted. So I'm going to play the video again just so I don't have to jump back and forth. I'm going to move to 1156.
And we'll pick up here about 11.55.25. At about 11.55.42, it looks like you're looking at your phone, is that correct? Correct. Do you remember what you were doing at this moment? Um, probably checking to see if I was, the Uber was on its way. So you've not yet received this text message? I don't believe so. I think it was a little after. There was a period of time there where you were using your thumbs to do something with the phone and then you stopped and made a comment to your husband and were talking. Do you remember if that's around the time you received the text message from Kay? Yes. When you received that text message, did you take the time to respond to her? I did. When you hold your cell phone, are you the kind of person who like hunts and pecks with their index finger or do you type with your thumbs? I type with my thumbs. Your Honor, I'd ask for permission to publish State's Exhibit Number 54. This is State's Exhibit 54B. Is this a photo of your phone depicting the call log from Kay Baker at 11.48 that lasted approximately one minute? Yes. State's 54A. Is this the conversation you had with Kay Baker at 11.56? Yes, it is. So for anyone who doesn't know how text messaging works in the modern era, if any such person exists, on the left, there is a box in sort of gray. Whose text message is that? Case. And then on the right, there's boxes in green. Whose text me messages are those? Mine. Okay. And so if you would, could you read the gray box that you're attributing to the text message from Kay Baker? It says, LOL, sorry for that, so dumb, all good now. And I guess that's a little smiley face? Yes. And then the next text message that you send back is what? Tell Matt to stop being stupid or I'm going to punch him in the balls. Did you mean that literally? Are you literally going to punch somebody in the balls? No. Why were you saying that? Uh, I really wanted him to stop being jealous and to drop it and stop the fight. Is this the last conversation you ever had with Kay Baker? Yes, it is. The next morning, did you wake up to news from either the actual news, like on TV, or from other people who were text messaging you, or whatever the case may be? Yes, I did. And did you have reason to suspect that something might have happened to Miss Baker? Yes, I did. I, I'm not going to put it back up, but there's a text message there at about 9.32 in the morning asking Miss Baker to call you or text you. Is that because you are already trying to figure out where she was and if she was okay? Yes. At some point, did law enforcement reach out to you and ask to talk with you? Yes, they did. Did they meet with you and your husband? Yes, at my house. Did you provide them information regarding what had happened at the landing bar the night before as far as going to the bathroom, crossing paths, the other guy, the little dancing, all of those sorts of things? Yes, I did. Are you aware of any moment that is not on video that we've already seen where Kay Baker is dancing with another guy? No. Was there any portion of the conversation that night where the defendant suggested there was some other moment in time where his girlfriend was being unfaithful and dancing with another guy? No. That's it? That's it. Those five seconds? Correct. Pass the witness, Ron. Cross-examination. Good 
in the same place. Good afternoon. I know she was your best friend, so I'm yes. going to try to keep this brief. But that night, there was not one moment where Matthew Terry screamed at Kay about this so-called dancing incident, was there? No. He didn't push her, right? No. Didn't slap her? No. Didn't kick her? No. Didn't punch her? No. Didn't do anything that caused you any concern when they were leaving that something physical might occur? No. In fact, on the way home, when you get the call from Kay, you tell him, cut it out, and you hear him in the back go, okay, okay, right? Correct. You don't hear him screaming at her? No. You don't hear him cursing at her? No. She's, he's not cursing at you, saying, Kelly, stay out of this. This is none of your business. No. He just says, okay, okay. Correct. And then when you get the message from Kay, the last thing is that it's all good now, right? Correct. And you're close enough with them that you say, tell him to stop or I'm going to kick him in the balls, right? Correct. No reason to think anything would get physical, right? No. Could I just have a moment? There was that end moment there, and we got to watch by 1130. Um, Mr. Terry took a drink, and he hugs your husband goodbye, and he's having a conversation with you and your husband. Describe his level of intoxication at that point. Uh, he was intoxicated. Um, mm -hmm. I could tell by his, um, visual, his eyes and the way he was slurring his words. Sorry. You could hear him slurring words? Yes. You could see what about his eyes? Um, they just looked glossy and a little um, closed. All right. And again, I'm not suggesting you're any kind of expert, but in just your everyday experience of dealing with people who've ever been intoxicated, did you believe the defendant was intoxicated Objection, at that point? relevance outside the scope, beyond your expertise? I'll allow her to offer her lay opinion as to beyond the scope of allowing you to cross. I do, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Just to be fair, you had been drinking that night, too. Correct. You had actually been drinking before you even got to the landings, right? Correct. And so had Kay, right? Correct. And Kay was intoxicated, too, right? At the beginning, yes. Okay. So the whole group was drinking, not just Mr. Terry, right? Correct. Thank you. Nothing further. And you read, read direct. When Kay left, did you think that Kay was as intoxicated as the defendant? No, I didn't. Thank you, ma'am. Release or subject to recall? Uh, she is subject to recall. Okay, ma'am. You may shut down, but you are subject to recall. So uh, I don't know if they want you to wait outside or not. No, she's free to go. Free to go for today, but you may be recalled. Thank okay. you. Thank you. <coughs> I'll ask the state to go ahead and call the next witness. State call Sean Andrews. Sean Andrews. Thank <laughs> you.